kings and queens if you're new here my name is samara aka spice island empress don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and leave a comment down below so today's video is in collaboration with Dossier. For those of you who do not know, Dossier is a perfume or fragrance brand that is based here in New York. They sell um, affordable dupe perfumes for designers such as Chanel, YSL, Tom Ford, Baccarat, and the list goes on. So Dossier was kind enough to gift me two of their fragrances from their website to review for my subscribers here on my channel. Um, I will get into the two fragrances in a second, but if you guys are interested in designer dupes for a fraction of the price, you guys can go to Dossier.co, that's D-O-S-S-I-E-R.co. So this is how the box comes um, from Dossier. You guys can see dossier marked here at the front of the box it's a cute small box and then um somewhere on the or in the back they have the name the name um is here at the top this first perfume is called ambery saffron so the ambery saffron is actually a dupe of the um, MFK Baccarat Rouge in 540 um, the Baccarat Rouge is retail for $300 but with Dossier you can get this perfume for guess how much guys $49 and when you open the box um, you can see there is something on the inside it says iconic sense designer quality no markups um, you also get this little um, leaflet with information about the perfume. So the notes, the top notes is saffron, orange blossom. The middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. And the base notes is oak, oak moss, fir, balsam, and amber. And again, it's inspired by Mason Francois or Francis Crook. Dijon's, I'm sorry, I know I'm saying that wrong. <laughs> Baccarat Rouge 540 or de Perfume. <laughs> and at the bottom it says how it works. So your dossier order has arrived, and now it's time to test your new perfume. Do you love the smell? That's a question mark. How does it feel on your skin? If you're not in love, you could, you are always able to return your bottle simply ahead to the returns page on the dossier.co to create a return label and ship back to us we've got you covered so um i actually watched reviews like a couple months ago with um dossier and with the perfume the full how many ounces 1.7 fluid ounce they also send you like a mini version that's really on the side when you order but for some reason i didn't get that i'm not sure why so in the event that you do not like um the scent of the perfume there is a small bottle or small sample size that you do get with your order that you can use and if you feel that you do not want the perfume then you return the big bottle and you keep the 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 travel size i should say um so yeah so this is the first um bottle as you can see very sleek try to get that very sleek bottle no design or anything and it says amber saf saffron ambery saffron and then it also has a note here at the top and then Dossier here at the bottom and in on the bottom of the bottle it just says the fluid ounce and also um, this is an address in New York so I guess that's where the um, fragrance is made all right so i actually sprayed this perfume on me a couple days ago and i did not i would say i did not like it but it wasn't my favorite 
a lot of people have talked about the baccarat and a lot of people have said that this perfume is a, a, a really good dupe it does smell similar but i haven't smelled the baccarat perfume so i don't know but it's not a bad perfume it actually smells good in like in the bottle but when i sprayed it on me a couple days ago just to try it out it just did not last on my skin and i don't know if i had to spray more i'm not too sure but it is a really good smell of perfume i just it just did not last on me so like i said this is retailed for 49 dollars cute sleek bottle and um it is the 1.7 fluid x so the second uh, fragrance that I got from Dorsier is Woody Hyacinth. I hope that I'm saying that right. So the notes, the top notes are Hyacinth, Lemon, Pineapple. The middle notes are Jasmine, Pink Pepper, Patch, Pacioli. And the base notes are Vanilla, Va Vetiver, Lord, these names, and Oris. And this is um, inspired by Chanel chance um yeah so this is what the leaflet says and it also talks about the concentration of the perfume um the mission of dossier and how it works about the return and this is what it's looking like it says woody hyacinth at on the bottle and then the notes are at the top and Darcy at the bottom this actually smells good from the bottle and i love that so let's let's try it. I'm gonna try it on my Ooh, this smells so good. Oh I love this. Oh, let me spray here too. Ooh, get that in. I'm gonna spray it. Ooh. Ooh, put some hair everywhere. Ooh, shaking it, shaking it. Oh my god. This smells so good. So this is again, this is Woody Hyacinth by well not by. It's a dupe of the Chanel Chance. And guys, the top is magnetic. This is so cool. I really this is actually my favorite from the two that I, I picked this is guys this is it smells so good oh my god so the woody hyacinth is retailed for $29 and I just told you guys the notes and it's 1.7 fluid I don't think I already told you I do also want to say that these perfumes are vegan and cruelty free I really can't stop smelling this. This smells so good. You guys need to go to dossier.com and order Woody Hyson. This smells so good. So again, if you guys are interested in, in these scents as well as other designer dupes from Dossier, you guys can go to dossier.co. So now that I've uh, talked about Dossier, I would actually like to um, show you guys and tell you guys about my favorite perfume. I wouldn't say they are designer perfumes. Maybe one of them are or two. I would say two out of the four that I have are designer scents or designer perfume. Um, and they are all my favorite but I have an absolute favorite and I'll start with my absolute favorite right now so my absolute favorite perfume is Olympia uh, you guys can see the name right there at the top this perfume is by Paco Robani or Paco Raban. I don't know how you really say it. This scent was launched by Paco Raban in 2015 and is a 2.7 fluid ounce and is retailed for $108. And like I said, this is my favorite perfume. It smells amazing. It smells so good. I really love this fragrance. It is my top designer perfume i would spray this on morning noon and night if i would the top notes for this perfume is aquatic notes the heart notes or the middle notes is salt vanilla and jasmine and the base notes are sandalwood and ambergris 
you guys need Olympia. You guys need Olympia in your uh, perfume collection. Uh, you guys would not be disappointed. I'm telling you. There are a few Olympias though. These are just this one is just the uh, the Olympia original. Um, and I know there's Olympia Intense, and there's another one, but this one is just Olympia. Olympia straight. There's no Intense or anything like that. It's just the regular one, and it smells really good. I'm not sure how the others smell, but this. And as you guys can see. It's being used. It is being used. And I love how sleek the bottle is. It's really cute. Actually, they actually changed the design recently because it wasn't like this. It was different. But yeah, this is my favorite perfume. And my second favorite perfume. My second favorite perfume. is the rebel 4 by rihanna this is my second favorite perfume i love this perfume so rebel floor is a feminine perfume by rihanna um the scent was launched in 2011 and this is the 3.4 fluid ounce for 59 dollars very affordable and it smells good um the top notes are red berries plum and peach the heart notes or middle notes are Hawaiian hibiscus, flower, violet, tuberose, and coconut water. Hmm, interesting. And the base notes is vanilla, amber, and musk. And this perfume is smells so good. Mm. I love it. Y'all can see I really use these perfumes. Every day I spray a different scent. I use my perfumes. I use them they smell really good and my third perfume that I adore and love is again by none other by Rihanna this is her Riri perfume um this is 3.4 fluid ounce um, this scent was launched in 2015 and it retails for $60 again very affordable the top notes are passion fruit extract very interesting rum absolute hmm. black currant Italian Mandarin the heart notes and middle notes are jasmine honeysuckle orange blossom jasmine and pink freesia and the base notes are Madagascan vanilla hmm. Skin musk and Indonesian sandalwood. It smells good. I really love these perfumes, y'all. And they are affordable. These two perfumes are affordable. And the last perfume that I have is my most recent um, purchase. And it is again by Rihanna. So this is her fancy perfume that launched last month. It's very sleek. You guys can see. I love the brown bottle. It's really cute. And the Fenty logo at the top. And ooh, it smells amazing. Um, I know this perfume is currently sold out. I was able to grab it before it's actual. So the Fenty perfume, the notes are Magnolia and Musk Unite with Tangerine, Blueberry, and hints of Bulgarian Rose Absolute, Ger Geranium, and Pacioli. Listen, these names. And this bottle is a 2.5 fluid ounce and retails for $120. So I did use this perfume, I think, in one of my videos. Yeah, my Get Ready With Me video and um the perfume is smells good however it did not last on my skin um like the um the baccarat dupe that i tell you guys it did not last on my skin um but however it is a really good smelling perfume um would i buy it again i probably would but um not in a hurry i would say because um my olympia perfume is the only i would not say the only this is this perfume 
and this perfume are the two perfumes that I know that last on my skin all day long these two perfumes I absolutely love them and these are the two perfumes I would always go back and purchase because they last long and they smell good and sometimes the Riri um, as well these are the three perfumes that I know for sure that I will always go back and purchase because they smell so good and they last on my skin all right so these are my favorite perfumes or my perfume collection very small but nothing big um, I absolutely love these perfumes that I just showed you guys and now that I add two new perfumes to my collection from Dorsier, the Woody Hyacinth and the Ambery Saffron I both love these perfumes but I love the Woody Sykes Hyacinth I love the Woody Hyacinth more than I can still smell it and this perfume skin in my shirt I don't think I did but they Woody Hyson smells absolutely amazing. I need to go to the store and see how it smells compared to the actual um, Chanel Chance and also the Baccarat Rouge and see how similar they are to each other. If you guys want designer dupes, if you guys cannot afford the designer perfume at this time, you guys can also go to Dorsey A to just get a fraction of the price and they smell absolutely amazing. I can, I'm telling you guys, especially the Woolly Hyacinth, it smells it smells good guys and you guys should go check out dossier.co all right so that's it for today in this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button click that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and leave a comment down below guys and don't forget to give that video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and stay blessed